we're going to analyze the data now. I asked six questions. There are six parts of the body I used. As you can see here, I used the eyelids, the eyes, the head, the mouth, the hands, and the body. So I multiplied those together and I got a total of 36 possibilities for each person. I asked a total of 15 people. So I multiplied 36 possibilities times 15 people. And my results were 540 answers with moved a steady. Or steady. Yeah. And I did a tally mark. And I did truth. And I used tally marks to show how much they moved and how steady they were. I also did it with the line. I did tally marks right here. I showed my number, my quantity, and the, how much they were steady and how much they moved. I'm going over my experimental results. Here, I took my tally sheet and I transferred all of this data onto my graph. As you can see here, I put the numbers in from my tally sheet. I had the eyelids, the eyes, the head, the mouth, the hands, and the body. And I have it for truth and for lie. I transferred this data into my graph. Right here, I have the eyelids, the eyes, the head, the mouth, the hands and the body. The blue lines are steady and the red lines are when they move. As you can see on my graph here, when they're telling a lie, they tend to move more. And when they're telling the truth, they tend to stay steady more. Conclusion. I learned that when you're lying and telling the truth, you have a reaction to it, as you can see here. I also learned that when people are lying, sometimes they have micro expressions, which are expressions that happen in seconds. I also learned that sometimes they try to add extra facts to convince you. There are several lie conditions. One to see more often is experimental and defensive. Experimental means that the person that is asking knows that the person lying can lie for fun. She or he might try to hide their micro expressions or act silly. Defensive means that people may lie to defend him or herself. As an example, people may lie to defend themselves by including serious faces or adding bad words in front of someone superior, thus behaving differently than experimental condition. Microexpressions are not forced movements. They are muscles that move when you're lying. Usually, the person that is lying can tell if they're acting in micro-expression. The only one who can tell is a person asking. In seconds, can happen a micro-gesture. Micro For example, the person that is lying can show a feeling in their eyes, their mouth, the nose, their arms, and legs. This way people get caught really easily. This muscle 
are able to give thousands of expressions. Also, cause a big hint to know if they're lying, but not to keep a sharp eye for any micro expressions can make the person lying seem to be telling the truth. Airports, FBI, police, attorneys, detectives, to select employees, jury duty, border control and irrigation, relationship, and even our principal and teachers observe body language. This was a very interesting project and uh, because it was being used by the FBI and so many others. And my hypothesis agrees with can body language help you determine if someone's lying? Yes.